All right, so we're gonna react to uh, Hidden, Hidi, Hidilin. We're gonna react to Hidilin Diaz, uh, final lift to win gold for the Philippines. The first gold for the Philippines. The only gold for the Philippines. We're gonna watch the video. The Wish only gold ever. Ever. The the lift that brought a tear to my eye. Oh. Go. Or gold. Silver in Rio. Will it be gold in Tokyo? Oh, shit. Get, up. Get up. Halfway through. Oh, oh my gosh. Gold. Hang on, hang on. Ooh. I thought she was sure going down, did. <gasps> Diaz did. Three white lights. Three white it's lights. Gold for the Philippines. You don't understand the chills oh that are running goodness. down my this spine watching this again. Unbelievable. At long last, the Philippines with its first ever Olympic gold medal oh in my any gosh. sport. And it comes in women's weightlifting. I've never been Would you more, imagine? I've never been more Filipino than right now. <laughs> Would you, you imagine? You definitely should be proud. Out of any sport, would you guess it would be the women's weightlifting? I would have been on the no. same length as CJ saying that basketball. Yeah. Are they in the basketball? Uh, oh, not no, just no, that. basketball, sorry. I, I think uh, taek... Boxing, sorry. Oh, okay. Boxing, maybe Taekwondo, some form of wrestling, yeah. something more physically. So is this the first time the Philippines anthem has played? Or have they won silvers and No, they've won bronze. silver and bronze. In, oh, in oh, look at her. oh man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Thinking. For a start, I think her name is actually pronounced Heidi Lin. Oh, Heidi Lin. I believe so. Heidi, Heidi Lin. Lin. That that makes sense. <laughs> Heidi Lin. Because that sounds more feminine. That that sounds a lot more feminine. How, how was than I saying what it? Said. Heidi. We were saying Heidi Lin. Heidi Lin. Heidi Lin. Well, you were saying Heidi Lin. Heidi Lin. Oh, was one time. Oh man. Heidi Lin. Uh, born 1991. So how old is she? 30. She's. Oh yeah, she would be thirty. Yeah, <laughs> um, so I'm just, this is some information about her. Actually, she is not just a weightlifter. Mm, she's she's is a, actually a, staff sergeant Heidelin. Is she a she's an air woman. Oh, air woman. Does that mean like RAF? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. And let's see what else. Let's see what else she's done. Weightlifting record. She's in the fifty-five kilograms category. By the way. She's four foot eleven. What? She's four foot eleven. Yeah, it's a massive, massive. She is achievement. A very she's one point five meters tall. One point fifty. Sorry, one point fifty, and or one hundred and fifty centimeters and four foot eleven. That is wild. Um, I can't believe she's in the air force. By the way, you know, you know when I see achievements like this, right? I don't know why. I don't even know if it's the same for every every Filipino out there, right? But when I see a Filipino person going well on the world stage, it's like it lifts all the Filipinos. That's how I feel anyway. So when I see Joe Coy even, and he's on the world stage as a comedian, I'm like, oh, he's giving, he's lifting everyone up. Yeah. I don't know. That's how I feel anyway. When you see one of your comrades, com compadres. Oh, compadres. Is it compadres? compadres? Um, do you feel that? Do you feel that same way about Australians? Yeah, but I, but Australians, like you're so used to winning, like there's a lot of things yeah. we're really, really good at. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not as if it's the first gold. Like I remember, I I remember seeing Kieran Perkins for the first time swimming, and I was like, "You keep going!" Like when he was ahead by like four lengths, I was like, "You keep going! Make it eight! Make it eight lengths!" Like he was such. Yeah. The, so here's some info. She is the fifth of six children. Dad was a tricycle driver. Is that one of the um, yeah. tuk tuks? Tuk mm, tuk or no? Maybe. And then became a farmer and fisherman. Um, she wanted to be a banker. She went to school and did computer science. Um, she, wow. in terms of her competitive career, it says she was selected as a wild card entry wow. to the 2008 Philippine Weightlifting Association. Yes, I, I um, saw a brief, um, just a brief like, overview. Uh, well, just pictures. There was, I think, there was six pictures, and it showed that it wasn't an easy journey for her. But she just, like, she just. There was one that said did not finish in one of the events, oh. and then like she just kept getting better and better, and she never gave up. And it's like you always want to, you always feel that that good 
good feel stories. You love those good feel stories. Feel good. That's the one. <laughs> good feel. Good feel. <laughs> feel good. <laughs> this sounds like a great movie plot that the Philippines are going to make a movie about this young lady. Oh. How she came from humble be- how she became from hum- humble beginnings to basically take over the world in weightlifting in her class. No one, uh, no one in the RAF or the air, air, whatever it's called, services are gonna mess with her. <laughs> Man, she, she a strong young lady. Yeah, hundred percent. She's de- she's dating another former weightlifter. Uh, who, is he Filipino Julius as well? Or Hulu, mm. So, uh, what's her name? Hidi. Heidelin. 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 Well done, Heidelin. 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 Yeah. Well done. Really, really well done. Like she, she should definitely be the proud of her country. Yeah, what she's achieved. I think she was always. No, her like, country should be proud of her. In 2017. I, I, that's what I'm saying. She should be the pride of oh, her country. Oh, the pride, yeah. She Next was to the Manny. Awarded athlete of the year in the Philippine Sports Writers Association wow. back in 2017. So I'm she's sure she's coming. gonna get like yeah, other awards. Oh, that's that's brilliant. good job, Heidi Lin. Heidi Lin. And well done to your Filipino Happy community. Time.